Jessica, Act 8, Scene 1. You could hear our big, heavy snow boots thumping down the sidewalk until we turned the corner and dashed onto the field. A monstrous hill of snow loomed right in the middle. Naturally, we all sprinted toward it and clambered to the top. Then we jumped, taking the plunge into waist-deep powdery white. It didn't take long before the boys started taking each other down. Peter seized the opportunity and sent Alexia flying down the side of the mountain. She landed on her back, all splayed out. Peter laughed and ran. Alexia sat up, and I could tell how mad she was by the lines in her contorted face. Suddenly, I thought of a way to get Peter. He wouldn't expect me. He'd be keeping eyes on Alexia, expecting her to retaliate. I call her Danielle and Anna. Here's what we're going to do, I said. It wasn't a suggestion, more like I simply told them how my ingenious plan could be executed. Act 8, Scene 2. We hid behind the mountain of snow. Peter came running towards us and scampered right up the side. While Peter stood on the top like the king of all dorks, we snuck up the back side of the hill. Danielle threw her shoulder into Peter, knocking him off balance. He wavered. I blasted him with my shoulder, coming from the opposite direction. Anna gave the last little nudge from behind. The one, two, three punch was too much for Peter to handle. He squawked like a dying seagull as he flailed through the air, landing face down. Alexia ran over and kicked snow in his face the instant he picked his head up. Danielle, Anna, and I had just reached the other mound when we turned around and saw Peter fire the snowball.